Good morning everyone. So today we're going to be making this crochet cowl. It's got a really easy texture that consists of just single crochet and chain stitch. Everything that you need for making this is going to be listed below, but for today I'm going to be using Bernat Chunky Yarn. And if you're doing a two-tone, you're going to need about 150 grams of each. If you're making one color, then you're going to need 300 grams. So you can use actually any bulky yarn that you want, even if it's a bit thicker, that's fine. It's an 11.5 millimeter hook, so a thicker yarn will work up great as well. Anyways, um, I think that's it for now, so let's get started. Okay, so with our 11.5 millimeter hook, we are going to create our slip knot, and then we're going to be doing a beginning chain of 28. Now, this cowl is crocheted in rows widthwise, and then we'll be joining at each end to create the circle. So if you want to make the cowl smaller or bigger, you can do that with this beginning chain. Just be sure to keep your chain a multiple of two. So decrease or increase accordingly. So I'll just finish up the beginning chain and meet up with you for row one. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay my chain out to make sure that I'm not working in the back of the chain at any point. And we're going to start row one by working a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then we're going to continue that all the way across. So just place one single crochet in each chain, which will give you a count of 27 at the end of the first row. So I'll go along and then I'll meet up with you at the end of this row. Okay, so I finished my first row and I'm just checking one last time that I didn't twist it at any point and that it is a nice straight line. So moving on to row two, we're going to just finish by chaining one and turning. And then in the very first stitch, we're going to work one single crochet, followed by two chains, followed by one single crochet, right in that first stitch. So you're working all those stitches into one. Then we're going to skip the next stitch, Working in the next stitch, we're going to put one single crochet, followed by two chains, and one single crochet right into that same stitch. Again, we're going to skip the next stitch, working into the one after that, one single crochet, two chains, and one single crochet. And that is the pattern repeat for this entire row. So you can go ahead and work that till the end of row two, and then we'll meet up for row three. So just keep repeating single crochet, two chains, single crochet into one stitch, skip the next, and then repeat the pattern. Okay, I'll meet up with you at the end of row two. Okay, so I am just finishing off the end of row two by working one single crochet followed by two chains, followed by one single crochet in the last stitch. And you can already see the texture taking shape here. It looks so pretty and so feminine. I really love the simplicity of this and the lacy look. <clears throat> so you can see we've created all these chain two spaces. And in row three, we're gonna be working into those spaces. But for now, we just wanna make sure that you have 14 chain two spaces. So count those up and we'll move on to row three. So we're just gonna finish row two by chaining one and turning. Now finding our first chain two space, we are gonna place one single crochet right in that chain two space, followed by two chain stitches followed by another single crochet in that chain two space. And then we're gonna look for the next chain two space and work one single crochet, followed by two chains, followed by one single crochet right back into that chain two space. And you're gonna continue this pattern all the way along, working in all your chain two spaces, one single crochet, followed by two chains, followed by one single crochet. So just repeat that pattern and at the end of row three, 
you should have 14 chain one spaces. So we'll meet up at the end of round three and move on to round four or row. I keep calling them rounds, rows. Okay, so we're at the end of row three and we're just gonna finish off by working one single crochet and two chains followed by one single crochet and then we will chain one and turn. And we're gonna continue this pattern now for the rest of the pattern. Now I used two color yarns for mine. So what I did was I worked uh, the rows until they measured 24 inches and then I changed over to a purple yarn. So. I'll continue on and then we'll meet up and do a quick measurement and then add the purple yarn and go on from there. So hopefully you're starting to see really how quick and easy this pattern is. If you're having success, give it a like below. Let me know how you're making out and what, what yarn did you use? So anyways, that's it for now. I'll meet up with you shortly and we'll carry on. See you soon. Okay, I have a little explaining to do here, but I'll do that in a minute. For now, I have the gray part of the cowl folded over and it measures about 12 inches. So doubling that is 24 inches. Now, you'll notice I have two colors and I got started in front of the TV and actually finished my cowl, completely forgetting that I was supposed to do the video. So anyways, I picked it apart and you'll see soon that the other side is looking kind of funky, but for now, we will join our purple yarn, <clears throat> which you can see I did on the other side, <laughs> but we'll join it here. And then we just need to chain one and turn and start working back and forth again into those chain two spaces. Then we'll meet up and I'll show you how to finish off the cowl. So I'm actually sort of trying to hide <laughs> the stitches that are all kind of poking out but what we're going to do here now that we're at the end of the cowl is we're going to start working two single crochets into each chain two space so that's going to essentially give you just a row of single crochet so that when we go to put those two ends together we can line up our single crochets and slip stitch through there so I'll go along and uh, just finish this row and meet up and then we will put them together, sew them together, and then we'll all be done. So let me know how you're making out and I'll see you soon. Okay, so now that we have finished that row of single crochet, we're gonna put both short ends together and we're gonna try to line up our single crochets. So when we line them up, that means that for each stitch, we're gonna be stitching together. They're gonna be in line and at the end, you'll have a nice row across with no extra stitches left over. So I'm just trying to locate my stitches here and then I'm going to do a slip stitch and I'm just going to continue to work that all the way along. And I'm just trying to find my second one. So you guys can go ahead and do that because I think you're pros by now. And then uh, if you want to come up back and check out mine and see what my seam looks like, I'll show you in the next clip, okay? If you're signing off now, I want to say thanks so much for joining me and making me part of your day, and hopefully you will like and subscribe. I am releasing weekly videos, at least weekly videos, and I'd love for you to join me. Okay, so that's it. I have finished joining for the second time, <laughs> and uh, I'm really happy with how, how it turned out. So you can see the stitches there, and I just love this cowl pattern. It's so light and comfortable and it has a beautiful drape. I hope you like it too. So next week, actually, I am gonna be doing a matching headband. This is the first one that I've done up. And so if you wanna see that when I'll finish, be sure to subscribe and I will see you next week. Thanks so much for making me part of your day and bye for now.